What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up pick up where we left off, we have quite a fortified, you know, quite a reinforced army here outside of Olmutz, and we're going to assault and capture the Austrian garrison. This is probably going to then be followed up by an attack at Croatia. Um, but let's attack most of the forces here. Well, the enemy cavalry can be dealt with by our squares, the enemy infantry just a mixture of local partisans and Australian Austrian garrison, not Australian garrison. So let's go take them out. And ultimately, this, well, what I'm probably going to try and do is if I, if, I, if I can take this and take Croatia at the same time, I would then look to see if I could make a peace deal with Austria. To see if I can push their armies out of my territory. Then I can try and... Uh, Destroy the Prussians. We have one territory left. And then it should be simple then to march up to the Russian border. Well, I, can, well, I can't march up to the Russian border yet because we've got the uh, Ottomans to deal with. We're going to push up the right flank past this terrain feature here. Uh, we do have quite a significant cavalry component which is going to go out wide on the left, wide on the right. One and the other cavalry wide on the left. My spells are probably going to pitch up on this high ground here and fire over our heads. The six pounders can follow them. Put Jaeger and militia on the left. My light infantry or lat infantry, they're in the line because they can form squares. My general, there he is. Drop him here. Good. Okay, so I've got my infantry. Grab the enemy by the. Get cracking. Team in advance. I've got a new mouse, so if I if I'm a bit feel a bit um I'm not quite as on point with my commanding as I normally am, then that will be why. As well as it being the first episode of the day. I'm getting my excuses in early. <laughs> Just get everyone up there ready. Okay, you guys push up. And my howitzers. Let's get cracking. <laughs> so the enemy is now positioning. Commit my cavalry. There's also some cavalry on the left. Yeah, over there, but I'm not worried about them. You may push into the light horse, the 40th horse guard's position, ready for the 8th horse guard. There's only 30 of them. The 13th light horse are being depleted quite rapidly. The 39th horse guards hit the 8th. Light cavalry hold up. So you men knock out the eight. Twelves are nearly in position. We're being able to suck up and destroy their cavalry one at a time, which is quite nice. Until these guys show up. Regiment of horse and a regiment of horse. Light horse charge the sixth. You men also charge the sixth. You men. Actually, you guys might have to go charge the fourth. That Prussian cavalry, Austrian cavalry, it broke almost immediately. Charge into the fourth. Oh, they're, oh, they're a heavy dragoon regiment. to have broken. So now all my cavalry recover. Send some infantry to that side of the hill. The bulk of my army wants to go through this gap and push their flank. Including my cavalry, which want to go 
You guys get up here. How it says one can go up on top of the hill there. General for the main line up. Twelves on limber. Sixes can actually go up here. Well, we're going to see what happens if I put them over there. But it might take them way too long to actually do that. But yeah, we've pushed back the enemy cavalry. They're advancing their troops, so our cavalry on this flank. They don't. They're slightly depleted, but we've managed to defeat their cavalry component. They can now uh, rest. Rest with the support of some infantry. And a howitzer when it arrives. The foot Jaeger advance ever so slightly faster. So you men may abandon that plan and advance straight at him. You men may ignore this plan. My horse guards may redeploy. Yeah, my six is probably aren't going to get involved. Even then, there's probably better. But yeah, my heavy cavalry can smash into these partisans and really start to turn their flank. Twelve pounders are engaging the general's unit, well, their commander's unit, not so not necessarily their general. Charge at them. Continue my troops' advance into the centre so my cavalry can get in, hit the enemy partisans. Not quite the blistering charge that we would have liked to have seen. But you fellows go wide. Both of you go wide. You get ready to hit the 21st. There we go. We've pushed through 13th Regiment. My camera want to kind of have a f have fun with these chaps behind. Ooh, you guys have suffered some friendly fire. Okay, you guys go hit the 21st because they're not going to stop. Oh, it's on limber. Uh, where's my general? Mr. Crook, get over here. Because we're probably going to do some bayonet charges against the 17th. If you, when you guys get into the trees, you should be hidden. So they can advance up onto the 17th. Cautiously. 6th regiment are there. Keep advancing, turn their flank with my cavalry, because the enemy break pretty quick. You keep damaging them. Charge the cavalry just on into the mass. My howitzers can limber up. My delta. Pursue the defeated enemy. All of you advance at high speed. Get my light horse to hit the 20th to provide some support to my heavy cavalry. Now they're visible, so they are aware of just how much in the doo doo they are in. Glorious victories, huh? We'll soon be on. Surprise! It takes a lot of casualties to cause units to shatter in this game. Push my infantry line up, Mr. Crook. Get up into position. 
because my life grenadiers are going in. My light infantry aren't the best things to send in, but ultimately we're sending in a good the mix of people. You men both engage. Well, you men both engage the light horse, send my infantry that's advancing up to the rear to back up my cavalry. They've won. Smash them into the seventh. My general's here to support my infantry. My, light, my grenadiers aren't going to have too many issues. My light infantry made it to the militia. So did my horse guards. They're losing men very quickly and they're down. Just one unit of partisans. Everyone else has fled the field. To get my cavalry to mop up the partisans. They shouldn't stick around for too long. Hey, you've lost your hat. I oh, know you haven't. You've got a little. Wait. It's like a forage cap or something, I would suppose. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Just bring everyone over. Except for. Okay, those guys did come back, so we are going to push, keep pushing up to them. There you go, my general can chase down routing units, but not units that are alive. But it looks like everyone has fallen. There we go. Olmwoods is ours. And we haven't had to call in the reinforcement army, which is nice. They can keep replenishing. We lost 124 men. Hello. Suck it, Mr. Teleman. There was quite a significant enemy cavalry force there, which wasn't quite so good. Where is... There he is. Swedish war hero that I'm using as a garrison commander. <laughs> uh... I don't really want to pull troops away to chase down Mr. Stahl, but that'll be your job. Sit here, replenish, because I think they, 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 had a, they had a massive cavalry unit, which I think accounted for most of that damage. What I'd like to do, but you're going to definitely going to attack Mr. Trap. But let's take Mr. Henriksen and attack Zagreb. And then we can do that, try and make peace and push all those Austrian troops away from us. And we might actually be able to ignore that Prussian army if I go for their last city. Because then they will be... They will disperse into the countryside and their army is disbanded because they have no one to fight for. Right. My twelves can try and engage from long range. And Delta Militia and Delta Militia... Bjornborg, Bjornborg. Great front line that's going to advance through the woods. Finska, Finska, Footjäger on the right. Lifeguard, Svea, Lifeguard, and Footjäger on the left. Howitzers, Trundle up. Cavalry position on the flankeroonies. General up front. Okay. My men advance through the woods. The enemy is likely going to do something similar. Go wide. Keep the howitzer. I mean, they don't have to be in clear space, but I like them to be. You men go wide. Cavalry crest the hill. How oh, it's on the left. Yeah, my twelves are engaging. They're engaging the general staff because all they have to shoot at. Not a bad outcome. Not a bad result. And there he is. See if you can smack one right in his statuoed face. You just missed. What about the other shot? 
That's a, that's what, is that what the shot carried on, or was that the second shot? Either way. Oh, we got one. I got them just over his shoulder. The general is going to be on this piece of slightly higher ground. But let's speed up time. Because we are advancing across the front. Their troops are probably shielded from our line of sight. They may even be back here behind this low ground. That's why we want to advance through the trees. Because a lot of these units then count as hiding. Hmm. Very well. My 12s can't shoot. So my 12s can... Ooh, is their general advancing towards my cavalry? Okay, so... Put my 12s right out to the right flank. Advance towards them. It might be doing a... Patriot. Hello, there they are. Okay, now they've done that, they're going to deploy. Our left might be incredibly strong. I hear your cavalry charge. How it's is get up here. Light cavalry go for jungle staff. Heavy cavalry go for their light horse, or at least attempt to divvy things up that way. But yeah, it looks like they were all hiding. Get Mr. Crook over here. And it also looks like they don't really have anyone. on the left per se so we want to push and attack this hill we have killed their general sir and then we've now killed their general break. my infantry is in position to begin engaging both their infantry and their cavalry you guys halt and unlimber my 12s push up to this slightly higher ground cavalry reform You men engage. Yeah, my left flank needs to advance with pace. They aren't going to like it, but it must be done. Then my cavalry push all the way through my howitzers up. So they are trying to turn my right flank, so I may end up needing to pivot. My 12s can even, could even, deploy here. Because then you chaps can rotate and facilitate the forward advance so they grins infantry you guys are okay cavalry engage the tenth light horse okay if they don't want to push us you men fall back so we made the 84th form square You men attack that general staff. You men push and attack my Grin's infantry. Get my foot Jaeger to cease fire. You men attack the ninth light horse. You men get out of square, fall back into the line. Oh, you guys are limber. 
You men form up. Mr. Crook, get over here. Though these guys may route, because they were already... The morale was pretty bad during the charge. Our men are running yeah, there they go. Get both my grenadiers in here, so they don't... If they counter charge, they don't kill too many of my men. The cavalry is beaten. The light horse are getting in here, so pull my little pike block. The horse guards attack the light foot. You men get up here and form a line. My light horse go for the general staff. They go for the general staff because their grins are. Uh, their grins are uh, getting ready to defend. We've 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 got the advantage around the flank now because they've had to redeploy. Push the cavalry up. Push the guns back up to their original position on the hill. Get the general over here. You men are limber. You men withdraw from the square. Don't be tempted. Fire at will. Put Jaeger. Put a volley into those Grenzers. into position. You might attack the eighth light foot. There's a reserves. Couldn't be a significant issue. You cavalry charge into the eleventh. Behaviors 1, starting to see good. They've broken. You men charge, get my delta up here. Howitzers bombard more of the center. General, get over onto the right flank. You guys redeploy to engage the 8th. Because those men are going to break. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Advance. Get our heavy infantry to keep pushing. My cavalry can go after the ninth light foot on their own. And this is how it ends. Through mass bayonets. How it's a ceasefire. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest away. Continue the attack. Don't allow them the opportunity to reform. Keep deploying my cavalry to fight in the center. Because I've got a lot of grenadiers still in the center. They're not going to go down easy. We want to just slam everything we've got into this fight. And keep my general nearby. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest away. Yep, there go the grenadiers. Bjornborg, attack these men here. There we go. There's one unit over. Here, cavalry. But everyone else. Well, actually, it's quite interesting. Actually, it does. It does seemingly result in a Glorious more victory, units sir. getting shattered than otherwise would. Yep, the cavalry's down. Good. Surrounded, engulf them like an amoeba. Oh, they've been caught on the flank. But yeah, let's let's not keep slaughtering the Austrians more than they are needed to be slaughtered. It's Croatia taken, which we're going to occupy. Rebuild this government building, and then at Olmutz, we've got that over here. 
So, because they've got this guy, some troops over here. What do you say, Austria? Hmm. Good, so they've all gone back to Austrian territory, which is back here. So now we can focus on the Prussians. Uh, well, we don't even need to focus on the Prussians, actually, because look, this force here that's guarding this bridge is within range of Budapest, which is their last territory on the map. So if we push and take Budapest, which has only got a generic garrison in there, plus Blücher and a Guard Jäger company, doesn't look like they have any defences, we can take the city, destroy Prussia, and then suddenly those two all three armies we've got sat to the rear can blitz through uh, this newly captured territory and, and threaten the northern front of the Ottomans. So everybody except my skirmishers. All my front rank. Skirmishers are going to mass on the right. Ah, I got it that time. There we go. Split the cavalry up. As usual. Blucher may come in somewhere funny, but it's only Blucher and a skirmisher unit, so not hugely critical. You know, they're coming in on the flank. I could send some cav send this cavalry over there to deal with them. So about there is probably the right sort of ballpark. My howitzer is going to push up. Where are my 12s? My 12s are going to sit here upon this slightly higher ground behind my line. But yeah, fundamentally these are uh, just partisans really, so I'm not overly bothered about fighting them. We can knock out the garrison, and to be honest this is quite the uh, significant gain in this campaign actually. Let's speed up time. They might try and... Well, it looks like they are going to try and combine their forces together with Blucher, which is... which is logical, but it will not save them. My cav really, my cavalry needed to run. Oh, well, that's fine. What I will want to do... Set my line to run. I don't want to lose the position I've set up. And my light horse is going to go after the guard Jäger, my horse guards. Well, Baluk is charging us. My cavalry is charging uphill, but I definitely... I wonder if fighting Baluka one-on-one with heavy cavalry is a good idea, especially when they are going to get stuck. Baluka is dead immediately. Form your line. Get my light cavalry in here. My light cavalry charge the guard Jaeger. You guys f just get here and form up. To be honest, I don't really want to waste the time fighting against. them our men are running sir hey they got pushed back from their skirmishes that's lame how did that happen oh well send in the heavy cavalry yeah, you men attack the militia immediately broken form the cavalry how it's a stop and a limber. I mean, the general Blucher's come back, his garrison, his units come back, but Blucher himself is dead as a hammer. They're probably going to actually rout, which is. That is a bummer. Because they didn't form square or anything. Oh. 
Doctor, our general is under attack. He sure is. Go on, militia. Make ready. And fire. Sphere guard it. Charge the pressure. Charge this unit of partisans. To be honest, let's just roll up the flank. Because they are deploying to try and chase me down. It's their general's unit, so... Push around the flank, but ultimately my militia... My militia are backed up. Actually, backed up by a Finska unit are more than enough. Maintain the charge. Oh, my alarm telling me to wake up is going off, but I've already woken up. Okay, so my this flank needs to do it. Just so I don't get caught out. You men keep charging towards the enemy partisans. You men position ready to maintain the charge along their line. And my infantry are very tired. This is probably going to be their last offensive, if you like. This infantry can advance. You men attack the partisans. Okay, so you guys, these two columns push into the partisans here. You men form a line, do not engage. There we go. Make sure Mr. Crook is staying within range. Sixth Regiment of Militia has been hit by my infantry. Actually, you guys may as well keep charging, because you're on the flank. You can help. Push on into the 10th. You've knocked them out, so get ready to advance up towards the 11th. You men hit the 10th. You guys push up to here. Before we know it. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest I don't a give a damn. You men go after them. You guys go after them. You men position. Light horse go after that partisan unit. You men go after the 15th. You guys keep pushing along their line. Actually, you guys might want to go for the 8th, because this regiment's going to get hit by a lot of stuff. Well, they formed square, but the square wasn't going to hold. Newman Bayonet charge the 19th. Heavy cavalry hit the 11th. Yep, there we go. Rolled them up like a carpet. They're concerned due to exhaustion. Make sure my general's over here. These guys should all fall quite conclusively. Oh, there they go. The Prussians are gone! So with that capture, we've taken the last Prussian territory. Blücher is dead. And I'm peacefully occupying all these cities because I don't need the money. I'm nearly on to, nearly on to a million gold. But there we go. Oh, there we go. So this Prussian force is gone. So now these forces that currently don't have a job push right up to the Austrian border. You guys push down to the Ottoman border. 
Can you guys leave Zagreb immediately? Minus two. In theory, you can, but you can probably stand to wait a couple of turns. You chaps can advance up towards this bridgehead. There is a potential... No, there isn't. I thought there might be a route. Potentially through the Caspian Mountains, maybe. I'll explore that later. See, so you... Oh, you got advanced roads, but I can't get it. Because there's no technology I can research to get it. Okay, so... Then the Ottomans do have an, a fleet around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So you're going to stay embarked. You guys are advancing up towards Istanbul. So we want an army, some armies ready to, to um, push against Belgrade. My agent here can advance towards Bucharest to maintain some visibility. See, these things being repaired. Everything's going well. You chaps, you require one more unit, which is in the process of being recruited. Then I'm probably going to chill out on recruiting armies for now, because we've got a good number. Especially when these territories are repaired, that's two more armies ready to push into Bucharest and Lassie to create a new front line with the Russians along this river here. Obviously, once we've mopped up the Ottomans and wherever they attempt to invade us as well. At least with the Austrians doing that, we can we can squeeze them into one last concentrated force and have one last grand battle against them. Yeah, don't worry, Russia. We're coming to get you. Now ah, you can transit through those mountains. Interesting. Good to know. Don't worry. When we when we do attack Russia, we're going to be fighting so many battles at once. Hello. Please stay visible. <laughs> you didn't even deploy your troops. Uh, yes. Chop. Okay, so first and foremost, where's my... There it is. Oh, yes. Cannonade frigates, go and mop up that force. It's just a brig. Sunk. <laughs> just in case there's more where that came from. Go to Valletta. Trade some spices, if you can. Nah, you're not, not a merchantman. So you men build a sloop. Everyone's going to be advancing again. It's good to know that you can cross through these hills. Yeah, you can. Um, so this army's slightly depleted. So Mr. Berglund, take the lead. They do have defences though. And this is the first, one of the first proper times we're actually fighting against the Ottomans. So you army stay together. In the event that they sally... Then we're probably going to redeploy. Well, you're pre you got the howitzers. We do want the howitzers to fight the battle, but at least we know that the Ottoman force has been defeated at sea. So now you guys just sail around that force and deploy. Deploy your army. Uh oh. So what are you? That's really that's actually not very good at all. We might be able to lose that army because they gave them orders to deploy, and now they're not going to deploy. You guys are dead. You guys are so dead. There's no one around to help. Oh well. You men. Can leave Zagreb down to minus one. There's a good amount of clamour for reform. Is there a school here? There is. Get rid of. Oh, I didn't get rid of them. So build that. Then get rid of this. 
be able to sloop. So everyone else is going to keep advancing up to the front. Got one last army built up here. So you might embark and then you're going to deposit them off of Finland. And we have three armies up, four armies up here already. Good. So next turn we can attack Istanbul. New men can push to here. The new men are pushing the right direction. Okay, let's hit enter. Let's watch that army aboard our sloop die. Let's have a look at how the what the enemy dispositions are like behind the lines. Plenty of firepower heading the enemy's enemy's way. They want to trade. Yes. <laughs> I will trade with you for a handful of turns and then I will destroy you. Ideally, I'd like to take them out before the Russians get there because I want to keep them on the other side of the Carpathian Mountains. But, but it remains to be seen if we can do that yet. There's a full army. Hey, you're going to go fight the Russians instead. That's nice of you. That's awfully nice of you. <laughs> That's incredibly nice of you. Workers on strike in Croatia. Now they've got over it. There we go. So the new men can push Belgrade from the south. The ships will just fall back to Petras. New men cover this bridge. Can Mr. Darlin leave Budapest? He can indeed. So you men can cover this bridge. You can upgrade to a supply post just in the event I get screwed over on deployment. So then there we go. That's Budapest bottled up. Although when you're replenished, you're probably going to lead the attack on Belgrade rather than beat it darling. Although it's only the, the Hussar Regiment that's actually depleted. To be honest, pushed both of these units up together. They can maintain their replenishment and they can just threaten the Austrians. To large crook, can you guys leave Olmutz? You can. You men... Take position in the trees here. I mean, Mr. Skjoldebrand, you're probably going to take a bit longer. Yeah, you take a bit longer to bring Vienna under control. But the main thing to do is to take your horse artillery out. Bring a howitzer team in. There's two howitzers, 12 pounders, Kurgan, a lot of militia though. But they've got lots of just regular artillery, which isn't super great. But let's continue the siege. Bring Mr. Zettisberg up behind. And let's try and attack. Or do we want to siege them? See if they sally. 79... <laughs> You're going to be waiting a while, buddy. And that's expensive. 69 grand. Yeah, that's a lot for something. You know, it's going to take 99 turns to happen. You got... Well, it depends what happens to these guys. Will these guys shift their focus and head towards Istanbul to try to stop us? Let's see what's behind the line at Bucharest. We could advance south from Klausenburg as well into Bucharest.
I mean, I'm sure Russia, Russia realizes what's going on. There's their fleet, or a fleet. Doesn't really matter what they attend, what they uh, want to do with it. A, lo a lone fleet in the Atlantic is no real danger to us. Oh, they're going to attack us at the river crossing. Abdurrahman Ismail, Senduk Nadim, heavy cavalry, heavy cavalry, bowmen, all sorts of goodness, and they deploy first as well. Let's do it. We can defeat the garrison as they attempt to cross the river. This is why I like deploying on bridges when you're near the enemy front line, because if they decide they want to attack you, they're going to put you in the most advantageous position possible. Oh no you don't. Think you can trick me? I can deploy on this side of the river. So... Mavade... Guns... Five more troops to deploy on that flank. Deploy my howitzers. I mean, I'm not... It usually is just a... Well, I might just deploy... Two militia plus a Finska unit to cover the bridge, but really they don't ever really seem to cross it in numbers. So let's just mass everyone here. Including the bulk of their cavalry, but to be honest I'm probably not going to pursue them. It was everyone. Good. I suddenly realised, wait a minute, I haven't left anyone behind, did I? Okay, so you men... There we go. Okay, so then you chaps, you're deploying, so you guys deploy over here, fire it will off. I mean, they attacked me, so... Have at it. There's their commander. A lot of trees to screen their advance. We won't really know where they're going until they get there. Could be a bit awkward. Nope, here they come, right on time. Let's have a look at these Sipahi. Yeah, they look similar to Empire, but obviously just more detailed. We might send one cavalry unit over onto the bridge, but here we go. Now we can see, get more glimpses of their forces. These are Tamali um, Sipahi. These are Zerhili Sipahi. So these are the ones that are in Empire. They're certainly more. They look more traditional. You guys look different, but still cool. In terms of their troops, these are the Bilistinili. Yeah, a little bit of curly. Look kind of like a militia unit. Well, those guys look like more like regulars to me. Veteran Tufenchi. Tufenki. Tufenchi. These are a little more irregular troops to me, but they look pretty good for irregular troops. To be honest, all these units look pretty good. And that might just be me being culturally ignorant. Because there are probably people who are experts on the Ottomans out there who look at that and say, that's terrible. They don't look anything like that. That's a, that's a really shabby representation of Ottoman dress or troops and it's not appropriate. And I look at that and think, hey, that looks pretty good. Some good hits on the cavalry. Form square. Yeah, there we go. Get all my gunners just to focus their fire onto that central point. A 
And that's quite a good burst repulse. They're picking off some of their some of the troops they've got left standing. It's when their infantry get here, that's when it starts to get a bit spicy. I'm not sure where you're pointing your guns. Especially if it's loaded, I'd be very, very, very uncomfortable. They may come back, but when they do, they're going to be behind a lot of their troops. Actually, this unit, this 19th Auto, is an experience level 4. It's incredibly more experienced than any troops I have to bring to bear. But I am content to deplete these units back to the city and then destroy them in a follow-up battle. Okay, so my gunners switch to barrage because their canister shots do go. They carry. There's quite a large area of effect because they hit, start hitting down here, but then they start to. They still carry on. How it's a fire is coming in, but it's still aiming in here. Kill that horse though. Keep on advancing. Another blast of caster shot is going to be coming your way. And they are slowed down. So that, yeah, that's about how units come back. Howitzers are firing still, but they're just a bit ahead. And now you chaps can barrage. To increase the rate of fire. You're lucky you didn't go off. More canister. Sipahi is still upset. Let's actually push you guys forward a bit. Now my cav now my artillery needs to focus on the threats, the closest as they're trying to cross the river. Will the 56th regiment open up? They have, but it's most it's the artillery that's going to do the killing. He's been a shake, and there's a cavalryman that's got through, but he didn't make it. There's another cavalryman that's got through, but he didn't make it. He made it to the line. Ooh. Broken. New men form square. So it looks like that's your who are the cavalry are after, or partially. Blast them! Then go after this order, or those cavalry, maybe. Oh, good hits. You chaps deploying to square because they're coming after you. Oh, good hit. We need to annihilate one cavalry. <laughs> Form up. It's a lot of routing Ottomans. So here comes another unit of what looked like irregulars coming in. Ooh. 
good hits. They're winded though. Let's have a look at you guys. These are more veterans. More cavalry. General's bodyguard. Some more chaps who look like irregulars. Tata Tartala Tartala mm, Cavalryman down Just the light cavalry down Gunners Barrage How it says Cannot barrage for some reason. But my 12s can. And my 12s are. There we go. Our mission state still looks good. Broken there. <laughs> My 12 pounders are gaining more experience, which means they fire faster, more accurately. It's just good times. Reloading skill 99, so they. It they means. It, it gets to a point where their barrage means they're just going to be firing like every. Well, a few times a minute. I don't necessarily want to focus on the cavalry because they will get their comeuppance in due course. Okay, lots of their Ooh, two cavalrymen got gunned down by canister shot there. Three by this guy. I mean, these guys are booked it. They're done. They might actually rail, which would be perfect. Get him, gunners! They're here with far too many troops, for my liking. Broken. Retarget. These are veterans we're killing. Proper veterans, not unit veterans. These are actual. Oh, there we go. So many dead Ottomans. Nope. Still plenty more where they came from, though. All these chaps are going to be pushed back to Budapest, and then we will capture the city itself. They got into a position where they can actually fight a pitched battle with us, but now they've broken again. Nope. Skirmish cavalry is in position. You're brave. I suppose the seven foot guards aren't having a go at you. Oh, they are. They got his pal. So many routing Ottomans. Delicious. There's a real question now about whether or not it's worth charging, but to be honest, I'm content to allow this battle to continue because we will be destroying units in the most um, efficient manner possible here. We're losing very few men and destroying considerable numbers of theirs. 12 pounders up to experience level 3. I mean, again, it, my 12 pounders are definitely gaining experience faster than my regular infantry and my howitzers are.
closer you advance, the more fire you're going to experience. Oh, I don't think they care. It is mighty tempting to push, though. I actually put my heavies up front. My lights behind them. And my general is going to ride with them. I mean, who are these guys? Are they deploying stakes? Oh, they are. Hey, those are like the officers from some of the Empire units. Except, they're the, except they are their own skirmish unit. Open the door. Get my howitzers to stop firing. They're not going to stop firing. There we go. So make sure my general's up here. Give all my troops orders to push. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. This is my generals up here ready. We're gonna blast through your line. My infantry's Pushing in. It's only one last unit of Ottoman troops that stops us. And the new men also have orders to cross the cross the ford. Give my infantry orders to pursue certain units. My general's here. So they will be okay. Are you guys the chaps we're worried about? Well, not that, not that we're worried about. You are the archers, aren't you? Let's try and pull one of these units out just to knock out this last enemy unit. Everyone else is in pretty poor shape. No one's surging across the river. So much so the frame rate drop is real. General, enemy general's bodyguards back. Get my general over here. Just because these guys are the ones to watch out for. Because even though they're eager and they're fighting against bowmen. Things can still get out of the hand. Men are fatigued, sir, and must rest I know they're fatigued. Look at them. Fundamentally, I'm not going to really chase everyone down because that's just going to take forever. I am content to defeat them on the field and have them push back to Budapest. May as well just trump the horn in celebration. 
There we go. The Ottomans sent scrambling back towards their front lines after their first serious engagement with the Swedes. 3,183 dead Turks versus 250 dead Swedes. That's quite the trade-off. So much so, you chaps are probably going to push towards Ottoman territory. You can march past that army. Demand the surrender of Belgrade. Then you guys... Get down here and auto-resolve the remaining battle to rid this region of troops. Supply depot, which means we'll replenish well, doesn't look like there's any generals and so on. So you chaps push up this side of the river, because the west side of the river is now secure. You chaps push, you this spy push up to Iasi to get some eyes on what's going on. Could be our first actual battle. If you guys go south, Mr. Riza. You men fall back. You're going to cover the gap in the mountains there. So, yeah, you're, you're potentially there to threaten Bucharest. Let's hit enter and see what the Ottomans elect to do. Yeah, they've got a tr they've got a force inside our territory, which I am hoping I can. When we declare war, they will be evicted. You've pulled back. My army is not going to move because they are to the north of us somewhere. So you men can get up to the bridge. Peter Darlin, we can leave the territory. So you are actually going to push up towards Bucharest. Maybe with Mr. Henriksen in support. Mr. Darlin can secure this bridge to make sure that this army doesn't break out north into our territory. They can't cross... They can't move past this pass here because Mr. London has got it under too close a guard. They elected to, well, they decided not to to sally, which I'm okay with them not. I'm okay with them not sallying. You chaps are nearly ready for the final battle against Austria. Lots of line infantry. Rudolf Lippert. The lumber mill to a steam powered sawmill. You men march up to the front lines here. Whoops. Ha. Huh. Um, so I clicked on the. I, oh, I clicked on some other monitor and now this has happened. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here and save it as. So I normally do. Yeah, one, two, and I alternate saves, so if I ever lose one, I only, I've only lost one episode, which it can still be a bummer, but I'm going to save it as this, this. Just to make sure if anything happens, because yeah, we don't have... <laughs> okay, right. It's a very minimalistic way to look at this game, I suppose. I don't know why this is like, just this is okay. Let's hit end turn. <laughs> um okay good it all did come back <laughs> i was like have i got to re-explore the entire map again my agents have got a very busy job ahead of them i mean i'm pretty sure i can when i declare or i can boot the Ooh, we have ambushed the ottomans perfect but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for an ambush against the ottomans Cheers, everyone.